Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video series I'm starting called Quick View. Uh, in Quick View I'm going to give a quick review uh, of the game that is in question and let you know over the course of just a couple minutes what the game is about, my thoughts on it, and sort of my verdict whether I recommend it or not. Uh, anyways, let's get on to the Quick View. Uh, if you're already familiar with the Knights of Pen and Paper games, this game's going to feel pretty familiar to you. Uh, in Galaxy of Pen and Paper, you start off by creating a Game Master, which will be the main source of dialogue throughout the game, dictating what happens. Uh, you also get to create two players by mixing and matching different personalities, species, and class types. Uh, these two characters start off as your starting party members. As you go throughout the game, you'll be offered choices on how to respond based on the personality of the characters that you made. Uh, so far, most of the choices that I've run into are pretty inconsequential, except for adding a little bit of experience uh, to the character that you sort of preferred for the question. Uh, but I have not beaten the game yet, so there may be more to it than I've seen. Uh, the missions are pretty interesting because you can actually choose the pace at which you complete them. So if a quest has you go out and kill, you know, five enemies, but you, you know, you can only take on three, that's fine. You can kill three right now and then start the mission again and take on two and you'll be fine. Uh, if you're feeling a little bit spicy though, and you want, only need to kill three enemies, but there's, you know, a bonus for adding even more, en or killing even more enemies at the same time, uh, you can go ahead and do that too, just add more enemies. Uh, there's a few strategic things to consider in combat, one of which is the frontline and backline system. You cannot attack enemies in the back line if there's an enemy in front of it, although there are certain abilities that can uh, hit multiple enemies at once, sometimes hitting enemies in both columns. Sometimes you're going to be in over your head, and that's okay. If you ever find yourself stuck on a mission, you can use the Create a Mission system to grind up doing things you want to do. If you only want to do ship intercept missions, great, you can do just that. Uh, I will say that the game can get a bit grindy when you reach certain enemies, requiring you to do more side missions to progress. Uh, the story itself is pretty linear, but the value comes from the writing. Every character has little quips, almost every action you make will get some other reaction out of the game. Uh, and one last thing to note, that well, since this is a D&D &D light game, there will be times when RNG just is not in your favor. I've had fights against certain enemies that I have lost only because one of my party members missed his attack four frickin' times in a row. There are certain skills you can take to prevent things like this from happening, but I did not have them at the time. Anyways, the price of the game on Steam is $14.99, and I think that's a pretty fair price for what you're getting. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching as always. Please leave a like if you found this video helpful at all. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.